Everyone I know is shrimping for you now. I appreciate that the word changed. <laughs> We're just gonna call it shrimping from now on. Perfect, beautiful. You do! So much shrimp. You guys are ridiculous. Thanks, Oleg. That's what I do them for. Hopefully I- Ivy shrimp. It me. Shrimpin' ain't easy, fellas. You right, PMG. Oh my god. I need to make a shirt now. We shrimpin' in here. <laughs> Danny DeVito's more talented than Andy Circus. You really should. The Gears the Gears games are good. Is that just a shrimp in your stream or are you happy to see me? What? Baldur did really good. Um you didn't miss it. I didn't talk about it. Um Baldur did really good. So uh for those of you that are here that don't know, um Baldur is my Oh my god, he's he's 2 years old now, so I can't call him a yearling anymore. But he is he is my young stud. Um and I say that he is a I, I forget that not everybody knows, like, horse terms. Um, he is a... He's a stallion. So he is a young, fully together male. So he, therefore, he is a stud. Um, but he is my, my two-year-old stud that we are training. Um, so for horses, Baldur's very intelligent. The problem is that intelligent horses often get bored faster because you have to keep them consistently engaged. And when they're not engaged... Um, and whatever it is that you're doing, they can sometimes either turn into a complete asshole or they just check out. Um, and in Baldur's case, he checks out a little bit too quick, so you always have to be doing something with him to keep him engaged. So today we worked on, you know, changing gates and making sure that he understood what I was asking of him, sidestepping, really, really basic baby, baby brain stuff. Um, but with the farrier and the veterinarian's confirmation... Um, he can pack, you know, um, a very, very light saddle. So like a kid's saddle or a very like, like no more than 20 pound saddle kind of deal. Um, he can pack a saddle and carry that um, without fear of issue. Um, just so he can start getting used to what a girth feels like and start to get used to the, you know, the weight on his back. But he did really, really well. Ah, thank you for the, the sub, Dingus. I'm glad, Douglas. I'm really glad that that helped for the day. <laughs> yeah, the word itself sounds weird, so that's why I, like, tried to clarify, like, this is a male horse. Everybody, everybody, it's cool, we're good. Give Balder an iPad. That's not a fucking joke. I bet you money. I bet you fucking money if I handed that horse a paintbrush and, and set up, like, a canvas for him, he would paint. I may do that. I may make that a live stream we do. I have canvases and I have paint. I have an idea. <laughs> yeah, there is a rapper named Megan the Stallion. Yes. I I have a stud in the barn. No big deal. You what now? Oh my god, stop! Bob Ross. <laughs> Balder Ross. Every day's a good day when you nay. Kim, we're gonna call the video that. That is the title for the video. Every day's a good day when you nay. That's, that's fucking beautiful. I appreciate you. I mean, to be fair, that's true. What is an awkward moment in life that keeps you down to earth? For me, it's when we moved to Germany and I went to school with the first teacher that speaks English. And I was happy because it was the first normal conversation I'd had in seven months. So she is having a test with her class and like the dunce I am, I asked super loud, What's your favorite movie? I like Par Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I love that story. Oh, honey. An awkward moment in life that keeps me down to earth. My entire life is one functioning awkward moment. The whole fucking thing. I myself 
am an awkward moment. So probably that. Uh, I'll have to think about that question, though, to answer it a little more seriously. Paint some happy little pats. I, I To be honest, though, I'm, I'm actually considering that. I think I might give him a paintbrush and see what he does with it. He'll probably just fucking eat it. Like, he's gonna snap it in half and, like, just dead-eye stare me and be like, Okay, what now, Mom? And I'm gonna be like, fuck, what do I do with you? I'm cringe, but I am free. To be cringe is to be free. To accept one's cringe is to be free. Bra moment compilations. <laughs> I appreciate that everybody has, has gotten to a point of labeling their life moments as something. It's a blah 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 compi- uh, insert here compilation. I once did a victory dance in the school cafeteria for getting where I was and kicking button Uno. Hey, you kicked button Uno. That's all that matters. Forget everything else. You deserve that dance. My first three crushes in high school were on lesbians. I mean, you liked them for their personality though, right? So, I I don't know. What what if he does? What if he does paint a Picasso? In which case, I'm I guess I'm going to sell it and give the money to to, like, a rescue horse charity. I don't know what else to do with that. Like, what do I do with that? Uh. Yeah, that's fair. We don't talk about that situation enough as a society. I mean, we do live in a society. Ah! You guys. I, everybody just jumped on that. In my second week of my first month at school, I ran into a pole and got a bump on my forehead. It was so big, it was like a large egg, and I was fully ready to waddle home with a... Oh, honey. Honey, no! I, see, but to be fair, I've done that. I ran face first into one of those, like, metal poles in school, so I can't even say that. I don't even remember what I was running for. I was, like, hauling ass down the hallway, like, the outdoors hallway under the awning, and I, like turned left a little too early and just bing and I like and then dropped and that was that I laid there and I was like oh here we go it actually kind of does maybe maybe I'll do that one of these days I'll do like a I'll set up a, a thing for like a live stream or something and find a way to do that that could be really cool we um so there's a there's a, a rescue ranch society out here that works with the barn that we that we we ride for and with. Um, ah, that's a really good idea. My wheels are turning. I want. Have you ever hit your head with a bolt cutter while cutting a bolt? Ooh, ooh, ow. You know what, though? Kudos for you, because I bet that was bomb to see. Woo! Laid my motorcycle over in a corner. E, I am really glad you're okay, because that, I can guarantee, was not a fun day for you. Like, I... I, I mean, I, I've only ever ridden a motorcycle, I think, on two occasions. Once on the freeway, once just kind of pittering around like a... A parking lot but I I myself have never ridden by myself so you already are levels above me because I I can't low speed okay well at least it was low speed because like taking those corners at high speeds is is not that's not a fucking game uh yes actually I had a claim when I was doing insurance claims where I had to deal with a motorcycle accident where he slid uh, going 70 off the freeway and hit head first and the helmet, the side of the helmet was shaved. <sighs> Gone. So yes, it's, it's some shit. That's for sure. I did not have a defining moment of cringe in high school because I was the same school district preschool through 12. So yeah, it was, I'm a junior, like half of you here remember when I broke down crying because I didn't want to lay down during nap time 12 years ago. Oh no. Yeah. And now everybody wants a fucking nap. 
No, it's not. So I think my junior year of high school, I held a foot race in the rain, slipped, twisted my wrist in front of half the school. Still won, though. You fucking won, though! Yes! I mean, that's a vibe. But yes, you won. I can't say anything. I So I, I do remember a time when I was in elementary school. I think I was in, like, second grade. And we were doing that thing where you build your own and, like, make your own kites and stuff. So, like, you have, like, the little mini, you know, mini kites or whatever. The problem is that the school was using fishing line as the string for the kites. And these two girls had stretched the, the, the line across in, like, a straight line, and I didn't know. I took off running, and the, the thing caught me at the throat. And I, like, hit it, and thankfully they, they let it go just enough so it wasn't, like, taut, because that would have been really bad. But I had, like, this red line across my throat for the rest of the day. It leveled me out. So don't do that. Don't use, don't use fishing line for kites. <laughs> I was in an accident and my elbow backwards breaking the humerus, the radius, and the ulnar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! 300 kilograms of wallpaper and the worst was trying to paint the wall and the entire bucket of white paint fell on me. And I had to walk like a giant snowman through my village. I'm known in my city as the abominable snowman and the wizard. I will call- that's fantastic. You are the wizard, though. Like, that is something where you're like, yeah, that was me. I'm the wizard. Being the loner kid my entire high school career. That's fair. Oh my god, what? <gasps> In India, people have died during the major kite festivals because, of the, because they cover the thread with glass. It's a competition on who can cut the other person's kite. Holy shit, that's a thing? Wow. Oh. Oh. That's intense. That's like, but why? Like, I could understand, because I'm assuming part of the competition is like, haha, your kite flew away, but like, the danger. Kite wars are real. I want to look more into that. I bet that's actually pretty interesting, because like, the, a kite festival sounds really cool, but also the, the glass thing sounds super dangerous. A happy accident. Yes, let's go with happy accidents. Doing a painting thing at school for a play. Step out because it was hot seconds before the paint just explodes in the sunlight covering everybody left in the room. Oh no. I don my wizard hat, my magic staff, and my sword and cloak and I walked for five kilometers to the new house. I am the wizard. Take pride in that walk. Probably the most embarrassing moment I've had was when I was, like, four or so years old. I fell down the stairs when trying on my mother's shoes, and that fall caused my head to split open. I still have the scar on my forehead. But, like, I bet you, I bet you were vibing in the shoes. So, I'm really sorry that you fell, though. That's terrible. I'm glad you're okay! Five times. Jesus Christ, Hibernia. Wow! That's nuts. Also, really not surprising, which I think is more frustrating, is, like, how people don't watch for bikers. Like, that's, in that's insane to me. A kid ran up to me and asked if I was Gandalf. When I got back to the new house, I started to cry. Why? Being asked if you're Gandalf is, like... That's top tier. You should have owned that shit and been like, yeah, and you shall not pass. Oh. Oh my god, you went you wound up in the ER? How long did it take to get you so ripped? I've been doing this for six years now. One of the first times I ran hurdles in a competition, I fell pretty hard on the second one. It was a dirt track, so I had chalk all up and down me. Also, I was the odd one out, so I was the only one running the running that heat. Oh, baby, no. So you biffed it and then we're like, fuck it! You finished though, I bet. The last time... Oh my god. Bye, Douglas! Be well! Yeah, no. It's... And it's scary. It really is. Oh, they arrested her? Holy shit! That's insane! 
that's that's fair, Zachy. I get it. Painting an F-15 vert and just as I finished the compressor exploded royal blue all over the tail. Oh no, Knox. I'm so sorry. Holy shit. I hope in six years I... Time and consistency, Con. Time and consistency. Yeah! I'm really sorry you couldn't walk the next day, but like, kudos. No baby chairs. Oh, God. I would imagine you do. Well, I'm really glad that it was just some bruising and a sprain, because that, that always has the, the possibility of being much worse. Um, you know, unfortunately, I've been a, put in a position where, for my, my auto damage reviews, I've seen what worse is, and it's... I'm really glad that you got out of that okay, because that's insane. I've been doing gym for about five years now. As much as I can't stand it, I'm glad I've continued. And it, you feel really good about it. Because, like, looking back after the years past, you're kind of like, holy shit, I've been doing that this long? Like, that's insane. And then you see, like, pictures from the very first spot where you first started. And it's just, it, it's a really good feeling. But it's also really scary that time passed by that quick. Demolition Derby got up to get a drink. Got up a couple seats, heard a noise. <gasps> that's some Final Destination shit. Oh, my God. Dossick. Basically, my dad was mowing the lawn and I decided I wanted to help with my toy lawnmower. I ran up on the porch steps in a weird way, slipped, split open my chin. <sighs> ah! Woo! Hi, Graham! Ooh. That's intense. You guys have some intense stories. Wow. Ooh. I like how this went from, like, we're talking about, like, oh, yeah, life stuff, blah, 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 to, like, hey, these are horrible moments in my life. Like, welcome to Jackass. It happens, Con. I have major dys dysmorphia still to this day. Old school bullies, they all could see me start making fun of me for falling off my workout stuff. Let them make fun of you, but that's when you come back... Better than ever. Like, at the end of the day, you have to consider, like, okay, you guys are more concerned about the things that I am doing in my life than you are about your own, which is something to consider. So keep on your path, because that's the shit that matters. Rodeo club, same hex, same. I'm proud of where I've gotten. And that's the thing. You, you, if, if you're down for that, that's what matters. You know how far you've come. And I think we get so engrossed in like, well, what do other people think? That we forget, like, it's not really about their path and their journey because you may never see those people again. It's about you and yours and like where you're going with your path. We watched those the other day. We we tore through uh, two and three and the Shark Week episodes that they had done with Knoxville and the rest of them. Man, it's weird to it's weird to see those guys and how much they've aged and be like, oh my god, wait, I I also am old. What happened? Sometimes I feel bad when I finish gyms. I don't think my form's good. Record yourself. You're not gonna want to. You're gonna hate it. And you're going to critique yourself into the ground. But sometimes, like, that's why I record myself. And um, you'll see sometimes where I'm doing something that's like, are you sure? Like, that's, that's, that's really getting up there. Like, I record myself because it allows me to correct some of, like, the, you know, the slight swing. Or, you know, if, I, if I'm not quite getting the exact angle of form I need and that kind of stuff, videoing yourself really can help you correct those things. Yeah. Yep. Getting busted by a history teacher tournament that wasn't sanctioned to take place. What? You guys were playing a... <laughs> yep. 
No, and that's the thing is like you'll you'll notice so with skull crushers, there's a lot of people who are out here trying to do skull crushers when you should be tucked and level trying to do those. So like you're laying back and I know a lot of people's instincts is to let their 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 elbows fall out when they're doing skull crushers. Cuz like naturally when you're laying back, you know, and you're on the bench and you've got the weight up here, you're like, "Okay, but you got to keep those elbows tucked when you're coming up cuz otherwise you're not engaging what you need to in these areas." Um but it's the same thing with like learning to check in with your body when you're working out too and and kind of focusing on what should be um what should be getting that that extension favorite actors favorite actors i got to think about that tom hardy's on that on my list too but i i mean i thought he was amazing in venom all things considered like he played a great eddie brock but that's just me um Oh my god, you guys, you got, oh, oh, I gotta catch up with chat. Huh. I mean, Skull Crushers technically are for your thighs, too. Robert Downey Jr. is fantastic. Mark Hamill! Daddy Brock. Oh, you were using money. Okay, that makes sense. Can you? I'm gonna, I, I kind of want to hear that. I bet you, I bet that's cool. Kizu down bad for Marky Mark. Wait, 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 wait. Like, hold on. Because there's, there's, there's two people that come to mind when you say Marky Mark. Three people that come to mind when you say Marky Mark. Because, like, maybe, maybe that's my brain. I, there's three people I could see being called Marky Mark. So, like, never mind. Never mind. We're fine. Continue on. Keanu Reeves. You right. That's true. You met ne Liam Neeson? Marky Mark. I thought Mark Wahlberg was Marky Mark. Mark Wahlberg is Marky Mark, but when people say Marky Mark, I think of like three other people. I don't know what you mean. I'm not thinking of anyone in particular. Don't come at me with your with your theories. Mark Wahlberg was one of them. Yeah, but you say you're breathtaking and everybody automatically knows Keanu Reeves. Uh, I don't have gender dysphoria. I have, um, I, uh, dysmorphia. Um, I'm NB, so I don't have a preference on how you, uh, refer to me. I'm good with anything. Not to mention, I... <laughs> Over my years on the internet, I have had so many people call me a man because muscle. Uh, and so many people call me other things that aren't nice that at this point, I don't care. Just don't call me late for dinner. Because at the end of the day, I know what I'm about. I know who I am and I'm cool with that. So not uh, Ellis. Ellis sometimes gets a little bit of gender dysphoria, though. Um, but Ellis is also working through you know, being, um, uh, a trans man and also gender fluid. So like they, they, they kind of struggle with that a little bit, but mine's primarily body dysmorphia. That's my biggest, biggest issue. You're next to Malcolm McDowell. Oh my God. Princess Sparkle Muffin. I accept. Yep. They can call you the inspiration. I mean, I'm down. I'm cool. You can call me. You can call me ye, uh, ye who inspires. Don't call. It. Yeah. Well, no, but that. I mean, don't call me late for dinner. Cool. I'm glad to have you, Lethal. Nice. To, nice. Nice to have you here. What is your agenda? Evil. Jared Padalecki. That's fair. The motivator. That sounds like like an intense superhero who's also like an anti-hero though, or like starts off as a superhero and becomes an anti-hero or is like a villain that becomes an anti-hero i don't know but either way the motivator is something that i would read hey ah uh, hey how are you daddy dean uh what i mean which ones do you want to see i have i have a lot of them <laughs> so which would you like to see 
That's true. My favorite. That's really hard to answer because they all are very important to me. I would say my current favorite is this little shovel right here though. It's very simple, I know, but it is one of my one of my important tattoos. Yeah, I hope you get to rest. The motivator turns out being a hero in MHA that turns out to be a villain. Nobody tell him. The, the motivator versus the wholesome killer. When, look, I need to hire somebody to start making comics for me so that I can voice act in them and give them to you guys for fun. It is. Asking my favorite anything is a loaded question. I'm glad you guys like the wholesome killer. I really, I really need, I'm going to make it a series. I need to make it like a short and just start doing them. Yo, thanks, Beg. Listen, I would be cool if I was an MHA, but that's just me. Oh, here, voice acting for Widow's Web? Uh, I tried to pitch that to the co-writer and co-creator, uh, to, to my fellow co-writer and co-creator, and uh, it didn't really go anywhere. So I may just do it myself, but it's going to take me some time because I am a one-man shit show. And uh, that doesn't always work in my favor because I do too many things. But I will see what I can do about that. Thanks, Master. I appreciate it. Mirko? Yeah, the wholesome killer. I don't think um what knows knows about the wholesome killer, guys. <laughs> I did. I did do voice acting for Super Eye Patch Wolf. Um, I was the closer in in that video. Um, that was a lot of fun, and I'm really, uh, really, really honored that he gave me the opportunity to be a part of that because it was a lot of fun. Bye, Falcon. Take care of yourself today. What quirk would you want if you could? Uh, so true story. Um, I have I have an MHA OC. Yeah. Yep. I'm an adult. Um, but I've I've had them drawn, and basically they are a shifter uh, that is literally regulated by their emotional state. So depending on how much control they have over their own personal emotions dictates what's happening with the the shift. Um, but it can cause problems. So, that it me. Oops. To make another cup of coffee. Don't, Zaki, don't you make that coffee. Go get you some veggies and put those veggies or them fruits in a water. And try that first. I refuse to work at Ivy's Hero Agency because I'd pass out on day one. <laughs> you wouldn't pass out. I wouldn't let you pass out, Kizu. I wouldn't let you pass out. I mean, you might go nap nap for a little while, but you'll get up, drink some water, take a knee. You'd be all right. <laughs> Shadows. That's cool. Shift body parts. Um. So basically, like, primarily like it, it's basically just, she's just a werewolf she's she's a werewolf there i said it i said it out loud <laughs> but yeah like basically depending on the uh, the regulated emotion or the way that she's like affected it would affect arms legs like full body face so on and so forth oh shit avocado well, I'm, I'm sorry that you're dealing with body dysmorphia, but I completely understand kind of how you feel about it for sure. It's, it's hard. It is really hard to get out of that mental mind space for sure. So don't beat yourself up about it and definitely take your time. But it helps to talk about it. 
Do the whiskey thing, Ahi. Just, just, just drink responsibly. Mount Lady. Yep. I appreciate you, Knox. That's true. Yep, Hibernia is absolutely correct. That is true. Thank you. Make sure you're drinking water if you are going to, to, to go down that road, everyone. Take care of yourselves first and foremost. Okay, good. I know you I know you do, but just kind of a, a reminder. Also, Baron is not here, so I will I will put myself in that position in Baron's place. Uh med reminder for people who may need it. This is your reminder. P people been on this train a long time. I appreciate you, Hibernia. That it happens. That's that's why Baron sometimes pops in and tells everybody med reminder. I I'm really bad about it, but um, Baron is always is always the one who comes in, so I appreciate them. Ah, oh, thanks. I appreciate you. Yes, water is also very important. Your water. Your water. It's raining off and on outside again. Again? Yep. Fuck. It's sunshine raining. Even better. Great. Go use your big brain. Yep, that's why we do it. What precautions should a young woman take when getting tattoos? My youngest sister got a leg tattoo and wants more. I mean, what do you mean by precautions? Because, like, I mean, obviously make sure that the shop is, is sterile and clean and, and reputable, but I'm not really sure what you mean by precautions. Obviously, make sure that you're taking care of it. Keep it clean. Wash, you know, wash it with, you know, clean water and, and so on. Make sure you're putting, like, Aquaphor or something else on it. But otherwise, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. Being the, f the thirstiest motherfucker who ever lived. Hey, you know what? Whatever works for you. I am not here to judge your quirk, okay? That's not my place. I appreciate that this turned into, like... Workout, therapy, my hero conversation. Woo! You can see. And that's understandable. And the biggest thing is, is working through that in steps, for sure. Yeah, cleaning it is super important. Make sure that you're keeping it clean. Make sure that you're putting, you know, the appropriate. Uh, Aquaphor is just a general use tattoo thing. Um, but basically it's a it's a wound moisturizer slash blah, blah, blah. So uh, your tattoo artist may recommend something else like tattoo goo or something like that. Uh, Ellis has played Dishonored. Um, I sort of played it, but I didn't get super into it. I need to actually complete it. time that's it's all about learning zaki no stress um one thing that i could recommend and I, I i say this on every stream but jack's blade fitness is amazing and has a lot of free um youtube videos that can help kind of put you on the right headspace for things so if you are serious about it he's certified um and puts out a lot of really good information too plus he's a nerd and he's really he's really chill so yeah I love Jax. Jax is an amazing human. I guess maybe I should maybe I should give it a go again. I don't know. I should tell everybody, by the way, I'm going to start playing Red Dead Redemption. So that's going to be between Red Dead Redemption and Dead by Daylight over the next couple of weeks. Because I've been having a hankering to play Yeehaw Skyrim. So that'll be downloaded and I'll probably do that by tomorrow. What are negative social results for having many tattoos? I mean, you get looked at a lot. I've had people try to grab me and ask me what, what this means. And I'm like, please don't touch me. Um, that doesn't happen so much anymore, though. Not since I got my throat piece done. But, I mean, there's always going to be a slight stigma. But I've gotten more compliments than I have insults, honestly. And as far as work is concerned, you know, if you're going into an interview, dress nice, wear a button-up shirt. You know, if you're really concerned or you have hand tattoos, you can always wear gloves as well. 
Um, but it's, it's, if you go in with confidence and if you go in showing people like, Hey, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm about. You know, I, I am a very strong, passionate and confident worker. Then your tattoos don't mean fucking shit. It's, it's just a part of who you are as a person. So, I mean, getting looked at a lot is the main, the main negative thing I've gotten. I also like to surprise people. I like to I like to shock people because I am as tattooed as I am. Um, and even then I'm not as tattooed as some people I know. But I like to surprise people because I'll get I'll get the older, you know, the older folks, like older ladies and older men, um, when I'm in tractor supply buying hay or buying like, you know, grain or something for the horses and like I'll heft a bag up and I'll have like the fifty pound bag on one shoulder and like pushing the cart with the other or whatever with a bunch of shit in it. And I'll get like the older folks who will look at me real funny and then they'll start to turn away. And I, ha I had an older lady one time drop a bag and I like went and picked it up for her and I like lifted it and I'm like, oh, can I help you? And she like stared at me and like didn't know what to say. And she's like, oh, well, thank you. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's no problem. You know, do you, do you want me to help you take it up to the front? She was like sh so shocked that I had offered to help her. So I don't know. That's become one of my favorite things. That's just me. Bye, Knox. Take care of yourself, and I hope you have a really good reason, uh, a really good weekend. Oh, I'm excited. Do the streaming thing. I'm excited for you to stream. No, no, you're fine, Oleg, and I, I figured that was the case. I guess, like, it's easier for me to explain it in my own headspace kind of way. You don't have to be good. Take your time. It's Dead by Daylight is, it's going to take time to learn. Honestly, and the only thing I could recommend is watch other people play, watch videos, and just, like, mess around. But don't don't go in with, like, an I'm gonna win every game expectation, because nine times out of ten, you won't. <laughs> For one reason or another, you're probably not going to, so no stress. Yeah, I, Rimmer, Rimmer's good. An older lady random screams internally. It's true. That's true. Misjudgment is always going to be a problem no matter what, though. It's just like the stigma against blondes. You know, same thing. Which isn't fair or true. Well, the best part of working with dead people is there's no judgment. That's the truth. Yep. Could be. Oh, Dark Souls 3. Oh my god, big pain. Yeah, I really don't like people touching me. Um... I, I don't like, let me rephrase, I don't like unexpected touching, which obviously is, as, you know, the pandemic happened and stuff like that, people stop touching you because, oh my god, but before, like, at conventions and stuff especially, I would get people trying to grab me, and I was like, please, please don't do that without my permission, like, don't touch me. Like, it just, it just, it's just uncomfortable, especially if it's a complete stranger and, like, they're just grabbing at your arm and like, oh, this is cool, let me see, and I'm like... No. Nope, that's the truth, Con. Absolutely. It is, and I, I remember, I stayed blonde for like two days. I was blonde for like two days, and I got so many jokes and so much bullshit that I was, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I was like, nah, man. No touchy! No one wants to touch me. I'm alone. Uh, get get an obvious art piece on your body, and then and then you'll see. Someone will want to touch you. I I don't I don't understand it personally. I think it's a fascination thing, but like people don't think they just do. It it apparently it happens. It happens with people's hair. I had a friend, um, who had like really really pretty, um, super curly, amazing hair, and. People try to touch it. All the time. I don't get it. But they do it. All the time. Oh, oh my back popped. Okay. Oh, that was nice. Oh, it's no worries. Dingus or Joey. Okay. No, I don't mind. I'm never sure because people have like multiple names or something. On my upper arm? This one? This this is Remmer. This is from Fran Bao. Okay. 
it, the angry biker look. I can't. I don't. Wait. No. Wait. I I can't do it right now. What time is? Oh God. Technically, the stream is almost over. I haven't eaten lunch. I really need to do that. Practice what I preach. No, you're good. You really should. It's an amazing game. Um, I have a, an old playthrough that I have up on my YouTube that years ago. I started playing it again, but I haven't finished it yet. It is fantastic, though. If you're asking, though, like, if you ask, that's one thing. But at the same time, like, don't just touch. Don't grab, you know? Hey, Dust, how are you? Yeah, monkey brain. L li lizard brain. Lizard brain kicked in. I, I need to heat it up again. It got cold, and I'm really sad about it. Probably heat it up in the, in the oven, though, this time. That's on me. I should have done that. Uh, that's appreciated. I was gonna play something, and this this just kind of turned into a chat stream. So, I guess whatever works. <laughs> I. I have chores. I have things I need to do. No Dead Space. I will be playing Dead Space. No, I will play Dead Space. I just haven't yet. I So I was gonna play Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, but that fell down the rabbit hole because it has to download, and that's gonna be like, because it's 112 gigs, so that's gonna probably be an overnight download for me, which means I won't get to play it for you guys until tomorrow or Sunday. Um, I have some voice acting stuff I need to do tonight, and a couple of other things. Um, but I will be, I will be attempting to play Dead Space, and then I was gonna play Dead by Daylight today, like normal. Because I wanted to get some killer play in, and I instead talked for almost two hours. Yeah. Yep. Yes, absolutely. We are playing Dad Space. Yep. There's a there's a joke about the plasma cutter in here somewhere, and I I don't feel like I, it's appropriate to make the joke. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed Dead Space. Or enjoyed what? Oh, enjoyed the talk. Is that what you mean? I mean, yeah. I, I like talking to you guys. And I, I don't mind doing AMAs and stuff. I like I like doing AMAs. Um, I just, I don't get to do them very much. Plus, I don't really come into my streams with a plan, which is probably not good. I probably should actually put effort into planning my streams. I get people, I see these people who do, who are like professional streamers and they like, they have their noises and they're fucking like cool, like little, like fucking these. And I vibe with it, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm just here to exist. I'm just, I'm just here to live my best life and exist. It's also the first stream. Well, I appreciate you, Zaki. That boring land acquisition role-playing game. <laughs> Wrong dead space. Yeah, yep, it is almost- no, it is 2 p.m. I was about to say it's almost 2 p.m. No, it's- it's 2 p.m. Whoops. I really- I w I'm trying to convince Mr. Creepypasta to get a few of us together to do, like, a bi-weekly D&D stream. So, I petition you to go bother Mr. Creepypasta and tell him that we should play D&D, because I think it would be fun. 
Especially because he's just he's just a fun DM, uh, DM so. <laughs> you guys are from all over the place. I appreciate each of you like popping in too. It's it's always really nice. It's always a really nice surprise to see everybody come in and, and chill and like talk. Uh, yes, I am, Oleg, as a matter of fact. Oh my god, Billy Bob. 2.30 a.m. Oh. Time the comment on all his YouTubes. 4 p.m. 5 p.m. 2,300 hours and one. Oh, but you're, to be fair, like, that's cheating, though, because you're across the country. Or, not across the country, you're across the water, so... You guys are all East Coasters. Two to three, three to four, four to five. That's, oh my god, that's the three hour time difference. Holy shit. Wow. I've always wondered about living on the East Coast. My, my, my dad lives on the East side of things, the Southeast side. Yeah, let me know what's up. I'm always down to, to investigate. 2 p.m. or 2 a.m., ya yeah boy. I bet that's got to be, and I think we've talked about this lady, like, it's got to be interesting living in Hawaii. Because you guys have literally sections of, of the island that are literally all of the different seasons almost, right? At least that's what someone who lived there told me, but I don't know if maybe they were exaggerating. Or if that's true. Oh, that sounds fun completely. <laughs> the GMT plus one gang. I appreciate you, Dossick. Bro, it's nap time for me, too. I don't always get the opportunity to respond on Facebook. Um, Facebook Messenger doesn't always work for me for some reason. So if you ever message my Facebook page and you don't hear from me, it's probably because the message got lost in translation somewhere, either via Facebook or because things get lost on Facebook for some reason. It's just not functional for me. Uh, but my email is available, and I also think my email is on my uh, direct.me. So like all of my socials are from here. So you guys can see what that looks like. Um, but these are my socials. So if you need to contact me or want to find me, these are going to be the best locations to do that. So that way you kind of have an idea of, of what what the deal is. You better rest up. That does get snow. Okay, so that's true then. They do get snow. Yeah, please take care of yourself, because that's always super dragging. I don't miss working two jobs. I've never played D&D, &D, even though I love watching it. I mean, sometimes all it takes is getting them interested in the story. Like, if convincing them it's going to be a fun story. And then, like, or, or, or you can deceive them into playing. Tell them you're playing Monopoly with dragons. <sighs> oh, a cyberpunk campaign. I bet that's pretty fun. Yeah, really be careful with that because I did the same thing. I had major, major brain fog and like, I think I slept for like 14 hours. It was, that was, I needed it though. My body was done, tapped. Had, had the big nap. The biggest nap. Also, I think I was supposed to do something at 2 p.m. today, and I don't remember, but now I feel really bad about it, so I kind of have to check because I'm, like, panicking that I forgot to do something. Because ADHD. I, I think that I literally forgot to do something just now. Give me a moment. Uh, uh. Uh, oh no. Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, maybe I didn't. Did I? Oh. Alright, that works. 
Okay, sorry, I was clearing stuff. I, for some reason, I thought my calendar told me that I was supposed to do something at 2 p.m. And I normally don't stream this long, so now I'm freaking out thinking I was supposed to do something, but maybe that's at 5 p.m. I appreciate that, Oleg. Actually, is, is there interference? The computer fan is going in the background. That's weird. Bye, Nod! Old school boss damage? That's strange. I wonder what's causing that. Really? That is so weird. I wonder what's causing it. Maybe. Hold on. Let's see. Huh. Maybe, because my phone was near it? I moved it to the other side. That's really strange. I wonder what's going on. Oh, it's not happening now? I mean, I, I had my phone up, so maybe that's what happened. I mean, I, I, have, I have photos of my tattoos that I have done upon request, but I haven't actually done anything else. I don't... Microwave running. It may be my, because my fans on my computer on Bertha just kicked on. So it might be Bertha making that noise. Yeah, it might be Bertha. But it's, if it's a little better, I'm, I'm down for that. There's also no background music or anything going on like there normally is. So that could be part of it too. I haven't actually gotten to watch how heavy are the dumbbells you lift. I have not had the pleasure. RF interference? Maybe. I don't know. Well, I... Mm, I don't know. Do I want to play? Do I want to... Do I, do I want to call this done? I really need to eat. I'm having, I'm having a hard time deciding what I want to do right now. Radio interference. Maybe, maybe it was the house demons. Probably. Yeah, I was thinking about DBD. It's either that or I end the stream and nap later. Bye, Orlantia. Take care of yourself. Paint your basement. Yeah, always, and I appreciate you for being here. Naps are the fucking bomb. Well, maybe, I don't know how well I'm gonna do, but maybe we'll play a little bit of Dead by Daylight right now. Might as well. Maybe, I'm not sure. Don't expect much from me on this stream. Uh, but I'm gonna give it my my what for and my my what not. I'll see if 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 I can convince Ellis to to throw this in the oven and I'll eat. I promise. I just I sat and let it get cool after they were kind enough to heat it up for me, and now I feel really guilty about it. I could probably just eat it cold, but I really don't want to. Oops. I'm an adult. See, that's my problem. Bye, Tyga. I have issues with naps because, like, I can either nap for 20 minutes or I can nap for, like, two and a half hours. And if I do that, I feel like I've wasted my entire fucking day and it drives me insane. Like, I, I can't do it. It drives me nuts. Go! Go get some sleep. I appreciate that you stopped by in the first place. Thank you so much. 
You guys go do your thing. I'm normally off stream by now, technically, so. I mean, yeah, I have that same issue. <laughs> yeah, we, we opted to move on to DVD. Like I said, I can't guarantee how I'm going to play, but... It, it kind of is, but it's like a, it's a power nap. I don't know. I'm the same way. Yes! Don't you hate when work gets in the way of a social life? Every day of my life. So, all right. I started playing the hag a little bit. Aw, Vex, you cute. Bye, PMG. Take care of yourself. You probably sleep during movies. I... Do I want to put some more time into the hag? Or do I want to try some more with Ghosty? Aw, oh, enjoy your walk, nobody. Tell the pupper I said hello and give them lots of love and pats. She's definitely different. The hag is, is definitely a different style character for sure for playing. 100%. Good night! I, I'm gonna start with the hag I think today and see how that goes. No guarantees, but we're gonna give it a go. Might as well. Yeah, we'll give it a try. Woo! I don't understand how people can do, like, the 24-hour streams. They're, they are, they are stream beasts. Like, I don't understand how they can do it. Kudos to them, but holy shit, I can't. I'm gonna replace it with the, the little Gorgon. I like it, it's cute. I really like the Greek trial one too. This is the woman CEO who spent too much time in a skirt. Kind of. This is the, the Crypt TV Birch version. I don't know, I really, I, I was digging the, the way she looked so I thought I would go for it. Kudos to the people who can do that. Like, charity streams are amazing for that exact reason. I'm good. I'm good at the three-hour mark. Or, like, the two-and-a-half to three-hour mark. And then I have to have a break. Because, like, it's a lot of talking, I think, for that, for that period of time. Especially 72-hour stream. <gasps> That's intense. That is super intense. Kudos to them, but that is some fucking intense streaming, for sure. Oh, man. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, what am I, what am I even running on her? Hex Ruin drives me nuts as a player, but it's useful. And Devour Hope. I don't like playing Noed, personally. I I don't like playing Noed. I can't I can't do it because as a as a survivor, it drives me nuts. Bye. I imagine. I have no faith. But I'm gonna give it my honest, my honest effort. The hag is still a new character to me. Um, I played her a handful of times, but I'm still getting used to the functionality of like the traps and like how useful it is versus um, knowing the map. I think is the biggest thing with her. Uh, 
Absolutely, it's about map awareness, so. <sighs> it, it could have been. It definitely could have been worse. But Keezy's right. What was I supposed to... I had something I was supposed to do today, and I feel really... I feel guilty like I forgot. Yeah, you just you just X out of the window, Zaki. <laughs> I may just play this round and maybe a ghost face round and I might be done myself because I'm I'm feeling the, the the food and the nap. Oh man. Oh, okay, good. All right, we'll see how this goes. Also, for those of you curious, I I am still working. Whew, excuse me. I am still working on um, the Huntress and the Mordeo version of the Huntress uh, for cosplays. So I will be doing those still, I promise. I have not forgotten. I just have not had uh, the opportunity to complete them yet. So bear with me. What is today? Also, I am dropping uh, a new workout video on the Shmatreon for folks um, because I realized that I had not done that and forgot and feel kind of bad about it. So I am working on it. <laughs> So I don't know what happened. Stream dropped out halfway through. Had no idea until I looked down. I am so sorry. Uh, the long, the long story made incredibly short uh, is that I did pretty good that round. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> the one time I do well. The one time I do well, and you guys, you guys don't even get to see it. God. These these guys were really good sports. I really appreciate them for playing. Like they did awesome. God damn it. I <sighs> Boy did I try. So, what was the last time you guys, the last thing that you guys saw? Because I feel like, I don't, I don't know where the disconnect came from or when it, when the stream died. And now it's not updating. So I'm not really sure what the truth is anymore or like what I'm expecting. Um, so, the match had just connected. Are you fucking kidding? Oh no! Ah, oh, it was such a good one. I did so good and that is my least favorite map. Fuck. That's okay. Yeah, Slade, I'm I'm loading in right now. I'm so sad. That was such a good match. Fuck. Well, I really appreciate them for uh for for chilling with me. Oh, I'm so sad. That's okay. I think the weather is causing it, so I may not have a choice but to stop for a little while. Cause it, it may it may drop again. Cause it was a really good match and it died right as the right as the match started. I was so stoked. Ugh, that's okay. So while we wait for the match to start again for match number two, how is everyone? What's going on? The weather out here is frightening, but the fire is so inviting. Oh, man. That's okay. I did- I did the thing. I did the try. I gave it a good effort. This is not loading. 
We'll try it here. Ah, oh, hey, how are you? Oh, fun! That sounds exciting. Go take a nap, Dossick. I think, literally, I'm probably just gonna play one more match and then I'm gonna be done. Assuming I even get into one. Um, oh, that sounds fun! Not to mention, it's not like I'm not gonna be back at 6 anyway. It may be 6.30, though, because I have a meeting with somebody at 5. What are you gonna stream today? Blurple. Perfect. Combat corpse. I'm in. You're good. Like I said, this will probably be the last stream that I do for the day, so no stress. Ooh! Spin the wheel! That sounds fun. I'm down. I can't guarantee I'm gonna do as well uh, on this one, considering that people have names like Combat Corpse and Blurple. Uh, but we'll give it a go. That's it. I'm sure it'll be a good stream. Hey Nova, how are you? If you know what, but that's the thing is like, you start sucking and then you get better. I also, I also suck, but with practice and time, you find a killer that you you get a good, you know, you get a good uh, pace with, and then you're good to go. You need outside. You tippy tappy. You tippy tap. Come on. Okay, go. Go tell mom. No, there was a crash. Um, I don't know what happened, but um, at some point the stream crashed in the in the beginning of a match, and uh, yeah, I'm super sad about it because it was really good. That's the way to do it. Just keep playing and and get experienced with them. They're they're good. They're good babies. It's the tippy tappies. They had to go outside. All right, let's see how this goes. No guarantees. No whammies. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this now. So the wrecker yard has a lot um, of doors and whatnot. So I'm gonna try to get that ahead of the uh, get that ahead of the game. See how this goes. I do want to set one up here. This also opens up pathways for the for the survivors, which is the other thing you've got to consider if you're breaking down doors. What are they doing down there? Oh, wow. I guess I'll just miss all hits. Holy shit. That was pretty bad. Go on, buddy. Thank you. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna try that and reset. Works for me, though. Because I imagine... Set that in front of the trap. Go back this way. Got him. Okay, cool. He run back the other way because he saw me coming? Yeah, he did. There's two of them in here, though. What are they doing in the fucking basement? Why are you in the basement? Oh, you're collecting points down here. That makes sense. Ooh. 
whatever. Gonna go with it. This is a very strange match. Very strange match. Not sure what's happening here. Like, this is weird. I'm gonna go with it. I'm, I'm just gonna hook them all. Like, I'm not exactly sure what it was happening here. Okay, well, that's the fastest match I've ever played. And I feel like that was a little unfair. Was that mean? That was weird, right? really weird. Maybe? I guess? I, I didn't get anything out of that, though, but, like... is what they learned. I hope they have a good time. Please don't stay in the basement. Oh no. <laughs> that was the fastest match I've ever played. I think, it, I think that's a good note to end on. I'm gonna stop right there. Full stop. Because that was... No, it's- it's totally fine. It's totally fine that you clipped it. I just- I didn't know what to do because I was like... I thought they were messing with me. And so... Sometimes I feel- sometimes I feel like people, like, when they see that they're playing against the hag, they're like, fuck, I give up, whatever. But then sometimes I feel like people are being kind of, like, troll about it, and... I saw them in the basement, and I was like... Okay, like, they're- I, should I give them a chance? And I was like, well, if they're being, you know, that way, like, no, you shouldn't have come in the basement. Like, don't go in the basement. I feel so bad. I hope they have a good time playing the rest of the game. Oh, no. I should have let him rescue them. Oh, okay. Wholesome Killer was not so wholesome that round. Wholesome Killer was ruthless that round. I didn't- they were all in the basement! I- god damn it! Okay, listen, look. <laughs> the content was worth it. I think I'm gonna play some more- some more killer tonight, guys, but I do need to go get some food in my belly, because I definitely did not do what I needed to do, and technically I streamed 45 minutes over my normal time, so... Although I did start an hour late. Uh, but I am gonna go ahead and go. Um, I guess I'm happy you guys got to see that, because that was wild for a second. 
Uh, don't forget, I pop back in at 6 p.m. Arizona time, although it may be about 6.30 just because this stream ended a little late. Um, I do have some chores I've got to take care of, but I sincerely appreciate you guys catching the stream. Uh, God, I hope you have a really good stream for yourself today. Um, if you're not already streaming, I could totally... I, actually, I don't know. Can I do that? I don't know if I can do that. Let me try. Oh, it's a follower subscriber only. Oh no, okay, that's okay. Well, that's all right, I appreciate it. You guys make sure you take care of yourselves today. I will see you in a little bit and don't forget, this is all the places you can find me. Um, but I will be back at 6 slash 6.30 p.m. Arizona time, which is in a couple of hours. Um, otherwise, though, enjoy yourselves. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. So on and so forth. Okay, bye.